now we switch to 1080p actually on both cameras so you can see how good the 1080p is on the Sony FDR X3000. Stabilization is of course still the same but uh, for file size uh, of course shooting in 1080p is the best. I usually always shoot in 4K. The image looks better. It does and you can do more with it. You can crop in and uh, yeah you have much better image quality. But Sony FDR for one strange reason has really good 1080p footage and I know that a lot of big vloggers out there uh, still use the Sony FDR as a travel camera because it's so good and the audio is just fantastic. So what do you think? This is 1080p on the Osmo Action 4 and the Sony FDR X3000. Let me turn the camera so you can see how beautiful it is there. Okay, I'm trying to walk as, uh, as stable as possible as you can out in the woods. But what do you think about the image quality and the stabilization? I'm gonna shut up and uh, walk a little bit. Back again in 4K, I'm holding the camera a little bit further away from me, maybe 50 centimeters on a selfie stick, out in the woods, vlogging. Uh, no, this is a good test for the stabilization, of course, but also the image quality. The sun is in my face, so the cameras are backlit a little bit. Uh, how is the dynamic range on both of these cameras? I know that the Osmo Action 4 is really, really good, but this is normal color profile on the Osmo Action 4. D logo looks beautiful. On the Sony FDR you can shoot in natural and I'm doing that now because you can adjust grade the image a little bit and it looks way better if you do that. But some days I get really good image quality from the Sony FDR and some days it's a little bit grainy and looks a little bit strange. So it all depends on the lighting condition outside. Remember it's seven years old but still great. And the audio is fantastic. Let's do a real stabilization test. This is not fair at all for the Sony FDR, but I just want to see how good it actually is. I know that the Sony, the Diosmo Action 4 is gonna be 10 times better, but why not test it? Just walking a little bit fast, and we're gonna do a light jog here. One more test with the stabilization, uh, jogging a little bit. Let's do that. This was a really fun test, still in 4K. Been testing stabilization and everything, and I'm really looking forward to see how. The image quality is on a Sony FDR compared to the Os <coughs> Osmo Action 4. Of course the Osmo Action 4 is much better, but it's always fun to test it. People are tired of watching reviews, I can understand that, but a lot of people still have the Sony FDR and wondering if it's worth the money to upgrade. In many ways it is, if you have the money, would I sell my Sony FDR X3000? Never. This, is, this camera means so much to me because I had, had it with me always recording a bunch of videos, especially with my kids, so it means a lot to me and it produces really good image quality and the audio is just fantastic. 
Should you upgrade if you have the Sony after your X3000? If you have the money, yes. I would highly recommend that because the Osmo Action 4 is really good. It's a really good camera. It's the best action camera out there now, in my opinion. I have the GoPro Hero 10. I haven't upgraded to the Hero 11. I don't think the Hero 11 is so much better than the Hero 10. But with all GoPro cameras, always some issues. With the DJI camera and the Sony FDR, never any problems at all. It just records. The battery life is fantastic on the Osmo Action 4. It's not that good on the Sony FDR X3000, but the batteries are really cheap on the Sony FDR and you can buy third party batteries for it. Really cheap. So uh, yeah, I just love it. This was a fun test and I hope you enjoy it. But remember, it's all about the story. It's not always about the image quality. It's the story that is important. So I really hope you... Oh shit! I really hope you enjoy this comparison and will give me a thumb up. And subscribe to my channel. That's important. I need watch hours. And I need subscribers. Over 7,000 subscribers so far. But a lot of it come from shorts. I know that. I need people to watch my longer content so I get the hours so I can be monetized and support this channel a little bit but for me this is fun so thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my other channel I'm gonna post a lot of hikes travel city walks not that much talking just showing my beautiful country Norway that's the point of that video I have three or four videos up there now they are quite long but that's the point so yeah if you don't want to watch it all you can just skip but uh, yeah check it out and subscribe to that channel Wonder Norway so thank you so much for watching I'll see you on the next one bye